Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week I'm going to explain about UNO Comfy UNO model. So what is this speciality? How does this model works? What is the technicality? I'm going to show you with a quick demo as well. Before getting into the demo, I will come here and so basically this is released by Byte Adams, which is one of the popular company from China. So they released this one. So like I said, it has a combination of many and if you are already familiar with Comfy and AI stuff, so basically the last year, it's called Virtual Tryon. Basically, you can take an image, you can give a cloth, automatically it will transfer the cloth to the model or input image, right? So that is one thing. A similar way it works. It has a multiple capabilities. So let's see what is, you know, is nothing but universal rotary position embedding system. So, so that's why they short name they calling as a UNO. So let's see, this is the UNO PE. So basically position embedded. What happening, they take a one model, which is right now they are using flex dev. So if you are using, if you're using UNO, you should have a flex. So let's get inside how we can use, I'll explain later, how to use the flex, whether we are using direct model or optimized version. So now what this guy is saying, when information, basically you are providing an image, also you are giving a prompt yeah what it does so now you can see general capabilities right now this is my input image the blocks and car where i can go on these are my two input images car i have input and i have a cubes lego cubes so i can go and write lego cubes on the car then this combine both together and you can create an image also you can also combine you can also give input as a background most of things you can control you can see here you can give her this image, you can ask like something generate something like this. And also virtual try and as we discussed, you can give a input cloth and model, it will generate. But having said one thing, let's say you give an image. So think like this. Okay, let me show, pull it somewhere here. Okay, you can see here. Okay, so you given a, some input image. Once it generated, it might not be exactly same. It will change because it's working with a flex. We are not using any control units. We are not using any reactor or any face swap, any LoRa's, nothing. We are not using any such stuff. If you want to tweak, you can go ahead and you can do it yourself once you get a basic structure. That's pretty easy. That's not a big deal. So yeah, that's about this. Yeah, let's see. And it's very straightforward. Yeah, as I said, one issue is this, at least I face, whenever you install, you know. So let's go to Google and you can type comfy you know you get multiple links okay initially i tried this i am getting some error so what happening here you are loading here with a flux dev safe time when you run a vram it when you run a system when you run a model when you run a server you are it is a pretty expensive you need a high gpus right so what i found there is this guy yeah let me show this guy so I am using wrapper. So there is Shamil Ron. So this guy developed nice wrapper thing. What it does, more or less structure will be same, but instead of using full dev model, flux dev, this is optimized version. Flux, we are also using flux. You can say, I would say like very negligible quality difference. So, but it will save a lot. What you need to do, you have to flux dev FP8. This is the my model. You must, this is already available. So then you need to put it in the CUDA, which is comes with a GPU and very important. You have to enable this true offload. What it is, it will work on the clusters. Whenever the process, the data, whatever finished data, it will release to the GPU. So GPU can work like a forward base. So then LoRa land, you have to keep it 512. If you change any numbers, it might crash because code will wrap. So this is very straightforward. No, not much. So you will get, let's come back here. So this is my comfy setup. Okay. This is by default you will get, by the way, what you can do, you can go, if you want to install, go to custom manager and you can type here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You can type, you know, okay. Comfy red, you know, there will be multiple files. Some reasons I am not installed this. You can go and check the who's a writer. So these are the authors, right? So I did manual installation, go and, uh, you know, clone git clone so from git clone you do it take the copy come here where is this one okay Shamil. go here copy the link git clone and uh, make sure you are in the virtual environment in the python and go to custom notes git clone and once you open the requirement you will be seen here 
you need you need to log in hugging space if not also no problem you can manually you can cut paste the models but anyway if you are already existing setup that's good enough definitely would have have the flux fp8 that shouldn't be a problem so basically you need these requirements if my case i already have this one so sometime if you have requirements it will be requirements already satisfied if not you have to install that so then hugging space login so what it does you have to give a i mean anyway i'll explain that so let's go to hugging space once you cli login go to access tokens and give a password go here so this is my i mean couple of things i done if you have, you can create a token and you will get a access token then copy and paste it into your terminal the code token token code will be not visible don't panic just hit enter then it will ask like a git access then press y and enter it and close it so that's simple i don't want to repeat that entire process it's a straight forward and come here so then you can drag and drop from here or also you can type it pretty simple once you clone this entire thing it will come into your local folder you can go and this is your json file and this file you can drag and drop there so or else if you don't want to do that you can go straight away and type that's it once you type you know these two nodes you need that's all so again i'm telling i'm repeating it should be wrapper you know wrapper right once you done that boom that's it you are ready for generation now go here in my case i'm keeping a preview i don't want to fill my local drive now from here you can give a input images so just go here and drag the plane this will be my input images so let me so let's try two so load image what i'm going to do here so let's keep it one after one what i'm doing so let's do interesting one so now i'm taking this character okay then i am going to pick okay let's scroll by i have multiple images i is not able to find a cloth thing okay cool i'll take this okay now i want to set this cloth to her so i am putting here let's delete and that thing a woman in pink coat with gta 5 art stripe that's it i'm keeping this keep the as it is rest of the values so now i'm going to hit a run so when you hit a run first time since i already run the server it will run directly so i'll show you also the command line so this is what it is so i mean you might not get this solar model because i have other workflows that's the reason i'm getting these logs so what you need to do when you run first time you will get some sort of log error or pop up just ignore because on live it is going to convert your the model which is totally fine then run so my case it started generating images first time it going to take some time that's totally fine so this is one of the use case and you can go so like for instance you can go from here you can extend the your workflow you got the output images from here if you want to swap the images if you want to add the details if you want to enhance further more face swap etc whatever you want you can do it so the images has been generating cool i kept yeah look at the output so this is my input image this is my face as i said you can see there is a slight variation face is not mimicking exactly how it was so but you can look at this code and it's understanding model understanding the your main reference image which is open code but i given closed code reference still it's taking and it's as we said like a gta 5 art style it's trying to mimic everything and also it's giving black outline all the details so now from here you can go and upscale you can add face detailer nodes so i mean if you're not aware face detail is a node where you can put here so you can give input what it does it can enhance all your pupils hair facial features everything it will give you like a rich output so you can go connect the model i can do but it going to take some time while you running the model so that's about this one this looks really cool now next one so this is about this correct now let me try something different i like this okay i'll show you this is interesting one so this is the what i'll do. so i'm keeping this i'm going to write a so now we tried for the cloth change now we are doing something product related 
so again these workflows you have to experiment this is purely on your requirement now i'm putting the portal on stage podium with the high quality details and so there is few things if you want to get a exactly desired result you should be also a bit cautious about the prompting it's not something like you randomly a bottle on the podium it doesn't work that way you need to keep it you need to differentiate you need to strongly mention to the model what you exactly looking as you increase the reference images so look at this is my input image this is my the backing from here model took this podium and it started generating so like i said since this is going into the wrapper system text is messing around right but if you look at the lighting rest of the details the reflection everything is coming pretty good so this part you can do it again in paint so there is subject called in paint you can go back and you can bring here it will you know copy paste exactly so that's about it if you want to try our own let's say you take some image last time i did something turn around the model i did something similar workflow combination of this and something else so that is pretty heavier workflow so here what you can do here you can give a hdri reflections this has to reflect on my input image and then it has to come something like this you can do that as well so let's try one more now i'll go and try one more let's okay we'll do one more so this is the one okay superman and i'm putting this okay look at now so i will take this time another image which can be random beach something okay now what i'm going to do what is my requirement i need to place this guy i need to place this guy inside this i need to place superman inside this crystal ball and background of this so let's see you have to mention with the crystal ball with the background of beach so that's what i mentioned here now what i'm going to do here i will go and change the values a bit so i'm putting 768 i mean bit time changing so make sure so as you increase the guidance higher because you can't go guidance scale beyond the 5 in this case so let's put it 4 right if you go lower model will take it a liberty so let's keep it that and this you can change as well you can put any seed doesn't matter so that's all if you want more batches this just like a regular one so if you want more generation you can keep it more for now i'm keeping this this all are models you can see the model what is happening here here we go you can see we were placing this image one good thing i like in this model it will match the lighting as well you can see here you can see there is details are missing that's ignorable but look at the overall the reflections so there is a beach reflection is coming and you can see this how the lighting how the overall the physics everything is coming properly so you can mention however you want right so yeah that's it so for and you can play a lot on this so there are multiple references here you can go and check into the board main page so this is one of the one i think i did this one now we can go closer i think there is this yeah this is the other one one second yeah thanks to this guy this is the guy developed the wrapper so yeah so you can do like a many options you can combine two people you can enhance you can add the lady so this left side is your mood board reference images then how we are going to compose out of this images so basically it's giving like a the more control to the user so that's about guys so feel free to explore there are one general guidelines so whenever you changing any clothing and thing you need to particularly you have to give a explicitly you have to mention what kind of cloth you are making so let's say i'm changing red color leather jacket you have to mention if it is that is your input so if you simply randomly mention model will misinterpret it it might confuse so that's about this video i am going to give a links about this link i'm going to add here and uh, you can download this one so you can drag and drop this and that support it's, it's running by the way it's running with a very even you can see here right vram is pretty less uh, whenever i'm running here so let's try i will do one more last one i'm going to so let's see when you run first time it is going to take a lot of vram see it's going few. but whereas if you go flex full model it gonna consume a lot of vram so it need lot of a4 i mean high end systems you need and if you are 
subscribing somewhere outside servers amazon or somewhere some servers it's going to cost a lot so yeah you can see this so that's about this one and if you have any doubts anything please mention in the comments i can reply i can solve that one and if you have any error codes anything please let me know and if you have any if you still if you have any installation problems if you, if you need any tutorial on the installation let me know i can do another video see you next week yeah